What if you could take an image of yourself and describe anything you want to change about it, generating a new image in almost real time, and then watch as it comes to life as a super realistic video. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that by building an application that combines Nano Banana for image generation with VO3 for video. And as a bonus, we're gonna automate the entire AI generation pipeline using Superbase. Now I wanna see just how far we can push this, so let's get into it. So here we have an edge function to generate an image using Nano Banana. Now, I'm using Superbase for this example, but you can use anything that can talk to a Google API securely. We'll look at specifically why we might want to use Superbase for this shortly, but for now, our edge function is taking this file and prompt provided by the user and sending it off to the Nano Banana API or Google Gemini's 2.5 flash image preview model. And then when we get back a response, we're manipulating it into the right shape and then saving it to a bucket in Superbase storage. We then fetch a public URL for our file and then send that back as the response from our edge function so that it can be displayed in our app. And this works perfectly until we want to take that image and pass it off to VO3 to create a video or any other service that we might wanna send that image to. We probably don't want the client to be responsible for managing that workflow. They might close the window or refresh the page or lose their internet connection if they're on a phone. So let's get Superbase to do it instead. So we still want our client to send a request to our edge function and our edge function request an image from Nano Banana. But once that's finished, rather than sending the response directly back to the client, we want to send it to VO3. So this is another edge function that fetches our image from that URL, does some processing, and then sends it to the VO3 API, asking it to turn this image into a video. But this one takes a little bit of time. We can't just wait for that whole process to finish and then send the generated video back to the client. This process could take minutes. So instead, because we're using Superbase, we can move this work to a background task. So once our first edge function gets back the image from the Nano Banana API, we want to send it to another edge function, which then sends it to the VO3 API, but then we don't want this original edge function to have to wait for Google to finish generating that video before we can send the image back to the client. So a background task means this edge function that handles generating a video can respond immediately to the other edge function saying, yep, got it. Thanks for the image. And then it can continue working in the background, sending that image off to Google's VO3 API and waiting until that video has finished generating. Therefore, this first edge function can respond to the client much more quickly with just the generated image so it can be displayed in the app while we're waiting for the video. And doing this in a Superbase edge function is dead easy. We just move that work we want to do after we've sent the response into an async function. So in this case, that's our generate video function. We then pass that function into this special helper called edge runtime dot wait until. So here we're calling that generate video function and passing in any variables that it needs. And this tells our edge function to send this response immediately and then go and do any work that we've passed to this wait until function. And so in this case, that's generating the video and polling for whether it's finished or not. And once it is, fetching that generated video and uploading it to Superbase storage. But then if this edge function has already responded with the generated image, how do we get this generated video all the way back to the client? Well, Superbase is pretty powerful. So let's use some more of it. We can create a new table called prompts, which stores the prompt from the user. So what we want Nano Banana to generate, the image URL for that generated image, the video URL once VO3 has finished generating that, and then a status so we can monitor where we're up to in that process. Then our app can subscribe to any changes that are happening in Postgres, or more specifically, the update event on the prompts table and dynamically update when the status changes or if the image has finished generating or the video is finally ready to display. So now when the user uploads an image, 
and provides a prompt like turn me into a super cool snowboarder and clicks generate image, it calls this edge function, which responds immediately saying, I've got this, then in the background sends that off to the Nano Banana API. And when it gets the generated image, it uploads it to Superbase storage. It then updates the prompts table with the images URL, which sends a real time event to the client. So it can display this super cool image of me as a snowboarder. And then it also sends the image URL to this edge function, which says, yep, I've got it and takes over the background process of sending the image over to the VO3 API. And once it finally gets the generated video, it uploads it to Superbase storage, updates the prompts table with that video URL, which again triggers a real time event to be sent to the client so it can dynamically display this super sick video. I don't know why I'm hopping my way slowly up the mountain, but very cool. If you wanna see some other cool stuff that Superbase can do, then check out this video right here. It shows how perfect Superbase is at handling these complex tasks where multiple pieces or systems need to stay in sync. But until next time, keep building cool stuff.